And when we see a problem uh, uh, where we have to do addition, subtraction, multiplication, and so on, um, the BIMDAS tells us what order to do, to do them in. And these are the words here, what they all mean, you know those already. Um, and they, they're done in this particular order here. So the first order, we do brackets, then we do indices. Indices, by the way, are things like two squared or three to the power of four, they're indices. Um, in first year and second year, you probably mostly deal with, with squared numbers only. And then the third priority are uh, multiplication and division. And then the fourth one are addition and subtraction. Um, so let's look at an example of this, this one here. Okay, you'll notice we have addition, subtraction, addition, addition, subtraction. So we just start on the left here is the three and we add three plus four is seven, take away two is five, plus three is eight and so on. In other words, the addition and subtraction are at the same level. So we just move from left to right. The other possibility is you can up add up all the positives together. So that's a three plus is four, plus the other three, because that's a positive as well, plus this 10. You can add all those up and then you can subtract the two and the six. You can subtract those from it. But maybe the easiest is to just start on the left and work to the right because they're all addition and subtraction. This one here, you'll notice there it multiplication, multiplication, division, multiplication, division, multiplication. These are all at this level. They're all multiplication and division. So they're at the same level, the same priority. So again, we just start on the left and work away to the right. So you would go 2 multiplied by 5 is 10, multiplied by 4 is 40, divided by 10, and so on. Look, you'll never get a question like this. The point is just to show to you that all you have to do is start on the left and work to the right. The sort of question you might get would be, uh, for example, you might get a question like 3 plus 4 minus 2, or you, which is just 7 minus 2 is equal to 5. It's as simple as that. You won't get anything more complex than that. Um, and then you might get 2 multiplied by 5, you, uh, multiplied by 3 divided by 10. You might get that. So again, that would be 2 multiplied by 5 is 10. Multiplied by 3 is 30. Divided by 10 is uh, 3. Isn't that right? 3. So that's the type of level you might get. So that's addition and subtraction in our BIMDAS there. So we've done these. Now that's when they're all addition and subtraction and when they're all multiplication and division. Let's move on when they're just mixed. This is one of the questions in the practice paper for the test. And you notice it has addition and multiplication in it. So it has mixtures. And we know that we have to do the division before we do multiplication because division happens here and then addition and subtraction afterwards. So we have to do this bit first. So the first thing I would always do is I would turn these into improper fractions. So it's going to be 16 multiplied by 1 is 16 plus 5 is 21 divided by 16 plus. I'm going to continue just doing writing these out as improper fractions. So it's 9 over 4 divide by 15 and 3 is 18 over 5. Okay, now I'm going to do KFC, keep, flip, change. So we're going to get 21 over 16 plus 9 over 4 multiplied by 5 over 18. And we're still going to do the multiplication first. Now I'm, I notice I don't want to multiply 5 by 9 if I can help div and divide it by 4 by 18. I notice I can divide that by that. So 9 goes into 9 once, 9 goes into 18 twice. Uh, that's nice. That's good. So now I can do, uh, that's going to give me 21 over 16 again. You notice I keep writing out 21 over 16. I keep following it down. It's nice and structured. Plus, now 9, 1 by 5 is 5, and 4 by 2 is 8. Okay, let's move this up a little bit. That's 21 over 16. Again, don't get bored doing it. Plus 10 over 16. I just doubled both of these. And that's going to give me 31 over 16. And I'm happy with that. That's the perfect answer. You can do it as a mixed number if you like, but 31 over 16 is good. This is another example from that test paper. Um, and again, there are some multiplications and subtractions and um, additions. And there's some indices here as well. And there's a big division across here as well. Of course, the whole thing is divided by the one on the bottom. So I just do this step by step. By the way, this thing, it did say you had to round each of these numbers to the nearest whole number. So again, I write down 36, the square root of 36, plus 4 multiplied by 6 minus 2. I'm just doing the first part. Divided by the square root of 9 plus 1. Okay, never be afraid to have another line in and be, make it all clear. And now I do, the next step is obviously the square root of 36 is 6 plus, now, I'm not going to do 6 plus 4. I'm not going to do these two, 6 plus 4. That would be wrong because the first thing I have to do is, I have to do this multiplication, you see? 
that's more important than the plus and the minus. So that's going to give me 24 minus 2 over the square root of 9 is 3 plus 1. Now I add these up, and because it's addition and subtraction, I can just work away across. 6 plus 24 is 30, take away 2 is 28, and that's divided by 3 plus 1 is 4, and that gives me the answer of 7, and that's our answer. So, now mind you, that was a bid mass question, but it was also a rounding question, round to the nearest whole number. Okay, last few examples. Uh, in this example here, number 1, First of all, we would do what's inside the brackets. So you would add up the, the two thirds, subtract a quarter, and then you would divide it by two thirds and you would employ KFC here. In the second case, we're going to do this bit first, turn them into improper fractions, and then do the multiplication because it happens before addition. So you're going to end up then uh, adding up three fifths and whatever this is first. The next one, we have division. So the division is going to happen first, but you're dividing a minus 18, dividing it by a minus nine. So that's going to give you 2, as it happens, minus 18 divided by minus 9 gives you plus 2. Then you subtract the 3. So you do this first, then this second. And last but not least, um, three multiple, this bracket here means 3 times 4. So that would be 12 plus 2 divided by 7. And then according to the bid mass rules or BIMDAS rules, we then do the multiplication or the division next. So it's going to be 12 plus... 2 divided by 7. The 2 divided by 7 happens first. Okay, I hope that's been useful and um, helped you with BIMDAS and um, good luck and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.